I just want to remind somebody why it's so important to follow God and not follow other people, specifically family and friends. Um, they might think that they know you best. They might think that they're just trying to protect you. They're trying to, you know, give you the best option that they feel. But you have to understand that the only person that knows you in and out is God. The only person that has slept in your bed with you every single night in your body is God. The only person that knows what you dream about, knows every thought that you have, knows every move that you're about to make is God. The only person that has spoken certain things to you that you are following is God, right? And if you start getting into the thought of, you know what, maybe my family's right, maybe my friends are right, you're going to turn away from everything that is for you, right? You have to understand these people have not been with you the entire way. Yes, they know you to a certain extent. They know you by behavior. They know you by, you know, um, body language. They know certain things about you by what they witnessed. They don't know you internally. They don't know everything about you. So when God is telling you, this is what I'm, I'm calling for you because it's the desire of your heart and your family is telling you you shouldn't do that. You have to understand if you start picking what your family says or what your friend says, you're going to put yourself in this hole to where now they're living your life forever, right? Forever. And it, it comes from a lot of people pleasing. So it, I get it. It's hard to get out of that mindset. But again, you have to understand that imagine God is telling you certain things because it's, it's going to lead your family into prosperity right and they don't even know they just think they're telling you like hey you shouldn't do that because it just doesn't feel right right and god is saying i need you to do this because it's literally going to make you enter a season of prosperity to where your blessings are going to overflow into your family they don't even know that they don't even know that the things that they're opposed of the things that they're telling you not to do are literally going to save them this is why it's so crucial to not listen to family and friends and i talk about personal experience to where you know i had a you know, um, situation with my family to where they were telling me the complete opposite of what God was telling me. And God told me it's important that you do not follow them because they don't even know that what you're doing is actually going to save them as well. Right. It's not, a, of course, they're not going to, they're not going to agree with you if they haven't been with you the whole way. They don't know what's going on. They don't know why you're jumping on faith. They don't know that God has been speaking to you things for years, right? It's not that you just jumped one day and jumped into the unknown. No, God has been speaking to you, speaking things into your spirit. It's not just a just a one-time thing to where God said it one day and then you just did it. No, God has been telling you things multiple times for years, right? So I don't know who needs to hear that, but I just thought about my personal experience when when you start to follow God and you start to say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to my family and friends. Some might disown you, but some will realize, oh, I'm sorry that I, you know, didn't understand at first. Now I understand. Because now, me and my family are good. But it took that me jumping in faith and not listening to them, you know, saying that this is crazy. This is like, this isn't God talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't listen to that. I had to block even my family out so that I can keep, continue to follow God. And now my family understand. Now they're like, oh, you know, I didn't understand that. Now I understand now. Imagine if I listened to them and I went back home. Imagine if I listened to them and I didn't continue to go with God. I wouldn't be seeing the the blessings that I'm seeing. I wouldn't be entering into the seasons that I'm entering into. I wouldn't be learning the lessons that God wants me to learn in this season. I would be running from it. So again, I don't know who needs to hear that, but stop listening to everybody else. If God says one thing and everybody else is saying the opposite, you need to listen to God. It might sound crazy. It might sound delusional. You might get called so any type of mental disorder, you might be labeled as, as schizophrenic and psychotic, and that's okay, right? It's okay because those people are just going off their perception. They're going off of what they see in this very moment. Hey, this girl is doing this. That seems a little crazy. Not knowing what God has been telling you in your spirit for years. They're only going off of what they believe in that moment, right? Perception is reality. If they only see what they see, they're going to go off that and they're going to gonna go by the books of what that means so it's not i don't take offense to it because i understand if people are just seeing one one video they're gonna call you crazy they're gonna they're gonna think that you're doing too much but they don't know what god has been speaking to you longer than just this moment 